Hi, boys and girls. Today, we are going to learn an art technique called pointillism. It was invented in the late 1800s by Paul Signac and George Surratt. Instead of blending colors together with brush strokes, they cover their canvases with small distinct dots. It's called pointillism because these artists only use the point or tip of their brushes. Today, we will be creating our own pointillism inspired blossom tree created with only dots. Before we start, let's look at some trees. Let's look at this tree. Can you see the shape? It is round on the top. The leaves vary in the same green color, dark at the bottom and lighter on the top. Due to the sunlight, we can see some branches and some areas where we see the sky. Now this tree is very similar to the tree that I drew. This one is pink in color. As you can see, there is darker pink in some areas and lighter pink in some areas. And you can see more branches through this tree. The shape is a bit different, but it's quite straight at the bottom. Some of the petals look even white. Pay attention to where it is white and where it is darker. You will need some form of a pink or a rose. You could also use red. This painting is gonna be a monochromatic painting. And as we learned, we're gonna make a different shades of this color. You can also choose another color. You could use blue or green or purple and then make different shades of that color. You will also need cotton buds. You'll need about well, how many do I have here? About 10 or 15. It depends how big you want you make your bundle. We will take some foil from the kitchen. Just grab a piece and put it aside. You can have some cotton wool to be able to separate your bundle. So your dots are going to be nice and separated. You don't have to, but I think it's nicer. And you will have elastic band to make the bundle tight together. We put the cotton wool in the middle and then we put the buds around it. Secure it with a rubber band. Done. All right, we're gonna start with our darker colors first. Dip your cotton bud in the dark color and start in the middle of your page. Make sure you hold your cotton buds straight up so you will get really nice dots. Now take your lighter pink and go around that darker pink to be able to create a nice shade. Keep the darker colors in the center and at the bottom and around it, start placing your lighter colors. After putting a lighter color, you can dip your cotton bud in white and paint white dots on top of the lighter color. Now let's take our dark color again and create some areas on the tree where the color will be darker. Try to copy what I'm doing as best as you can. Now it's time to take those little twigs that we found and try to place them in the middle and play with them a little bit so we can get that beautiful pattern of the trunk going up in the branches. Just place it. I 
I have decided not to use a paintbrush and actually use one of the twigs as my brush. I dip it in water many times and then I dip it in black color to be able to trace them 